Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Today I'm going to show you how to drag things around and drop them using Unity's UI system. So we'll start off with something simple and then maybe go into something more complicated like this where you can see I've got it, I drag it, and something counts up, and then when I release it stops. And then go from any one of these to another. Kind of see that right there. But we're going to start it off really simple and then build up to that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into this empty project and we're just going to create a new panel and then create an image underneath that. So just right click on the panel and we'll create an image. I'm not even going to assign a sprite. We'll just leave it as a blank white thing. And then we're going to create a new script and call it draggable image. Now we'll open that up in Visual Studio. Now in here we need to add the I drag handler interface to our script. So just go I drag handler and do control period to add the using statement for Unity Engine event systems right here. And then I'm going to fix up my formatting with control K, control D and delete out this extra stuff. We don't need any of that. Now if you go on to the I drag handler, you see the little line there that says we're not implementing the interface. So we need to implement it. You can use the little pop up here or control period to get it to pop up or you can just type this out. And what we have to implement is this on drag method. Now for this basic implementation, all we really need to do is say transform dot position equals event data dot position save that off go back into unity press play and we should be able to just drag around our image let's give it a try so there we go i can drag it wherever i want stops when i release the button drag it release it and i can do multiple of these i could have a couple images and they're all totally independent here let's just get two out there drag them side by side there we go you can see it just kind of works it's easy to do there's really not much to it if you just want to move these things around. Now there are a couple other events that are worth knowing about though. So let's take a look at those. First, we could add in the I begin drag handler. And let's add an I end drag handler as well. So you may guess that these just fire off when we start to drag something and when we stop to drag something. So one easy example and easy way to show this is to just change the color of the image when we're dragging it and then change it back when we stop dragging it. So let's do that by going in and uh, first let's cache our image. So just do a private image and we need to add a using statement and none of these are right. We actually need the using unity engine dot UI and then we'll name this image just lowercase and then cache it in awake. So just do private void awake and just here we'll go image equals get component image. That's just going to get our image component that's this script is attached to. Now with that in on begin drag, we just do image dot color equals color dot green, and then when we stop dragging it, we can just switch it back to white. So this should show us both the events firing off and give us an indicator of uh, you know, what we're dragging around. So let's let that recompile. It's simple enough that we don't even have to stop. Oh. Maybe it's not the awake didn't call. That's right. So we were compiling while it was already going. There we go. So we change it. We drag. We drop. And you see the, the one that's being dragged turns green. So that's pretty cool, I think. It's pretty simple to do. Um, now I want to dive into a slightly more complicated use case. So let's jump over to that previous project that I was showing. So in here we're doing something somewhat similar, but you see there's a little icon that appears and then a counter starts going up and when I stop or release, it stops counting up, right? So this is just to keep track of uh, damage for a game called Magic the Gathering. Just a simple little system that I put together as a demo and uh, something to play with. Now let me show you how this works. So if we expand out the canvas here, each one of these player objects has a life text right here. That's this thing in the middle. And then on that, there's a commander damage drag script that references this image right here, this uh, drag indicator, which if I turn it on, you see it's just this little sword. It's just an image. There's literally nothing else to it. Um, we do have raycast target unchecked, though. It's important to have this unchecked because we're going to be doing checks against the objects below it. And if the cursor or that, that sprite there is on top of it we won't get the events for these other things below it so let's look at it again in this here remember we just have the drag image and let's pull up the script here we go let's get this up 
right there and kind of resize it, hide all this extra junk, and just look at the code. So in here, we're actually keeping track of a couple things. So we're keeping track of the source player and the target player. So this is like the life counter that you start dragging from and the life counter that you stop dragging onto. Um, and we again have that reference to the drag image. Now in on point or enter, that's one that I didn't talk about a minute ago, that actually fires whenever we put the mouse over the object or if we start touching and holding it down. So it'll also fire at the same time as begin drag, but um, the, the real difference is that if I'm already dragging and I go onto something, on point or enter will fire, on drag begin will not fire. So this lets me know that I've gone over a new target after I was already dragging. So here you see in on point or enter we actually set target player equal to the player. And that's the player that this thing was dragged over or that our mouse was dragged over because this is on each one. Um, when that happens, if the source player is already set, uh, we already have a target player and the target and the source are not the same, we just kick off a little coroutine that increments the damage over time. And this is where that counting up was happening. So after half a second, we just increment it by one every quarter second. And then we stop doing that whenever we end a drag or when we exit the pointer. So if we drag off, it'll stop. If we let go, it'll also stop. Um, and then in here, let's look at on begin drag. On begin drag, we just cache the source player. So whatever one we started dragging from just becomes the source player. By the way, these are both static. There's no um, concern about multiple people dragging at the same time or anything with this app. So keeping them as private static fields just made sense to keep it nice and simple. This may not work in uh, as a pattern in a lot of real games, but in this simple app, it just it, it was simple enough. It didn't really make a difference. There's no reason to make it so I could drag multiple at a time. I'm never going to do it. Now. Again, on, in on begin drag, we cache that player, the source player. So this is the one where we started clicking on and dragged away from. And then in um, on drag, we just move the object just like we did with the basic sprite. And then in on drag again, like I said, here we just clear these out and we stop the coroutine. So this is um, I said a pretty simple little example, but I think it's powerful enough that it shows off kind of how easy it is to do these things and what kind of stuff you can do with the, the UI with just a little bit of code, just implementing these specific interfaces and you really don't have to do anything else. The UI system is looking for these and then calling into them if they exist. So I hope this is somewhat helpful for you. Um, if you're doing a lot of UI work, I think knowing these events is extremely important. And if you have any questions about this stuff, um, just drop a comment below. I've been sharing the source for this project too in the live stream. So if you'd like to see more about that, see how this is kind of put together, uh, check out those live streams or just toss me an email and I'll, I'll hook you up. All right, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like, hit subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks again.